Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting Resident Evil 3. We are gonna get Resident Evil 3 done before Resident Evil 4 comes out or it's gonna be really 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 close. I'm really excited for Resi 4 remake and I'm excited to get some Nemesis action and some Jill and just get into this new this new game because we spent so much time on Resident Evil 2 I'm excited for Resi 3 so stick around hang out and uh, let's get into it all right we're playing on standard um, and we're gonna give this another shot we tried really hard and so yeah let's see how it goes See. Ugh. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. This game came out at the top of the pandemic, which was really it's this poor timing, but will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. It also felt fitting at the same time. I'm not necessarily mad at it. Ooh, baby. I mean, this series is all about that kind of stuff, so... You know. Now that we're post-pandemic, post pandemic it's difficult in my opinion hmm close the window although I do love rain like that but this is set 98 so we don't have the, the things like that TV would have been fine in the rain home September set in like 98 or something unnerving combat oh Annette Birkin Hmm. Listen, Storm, you can calm down. <laughs> All the magnets on the fridge. You know, I don't like the gun on the counter. But I do appreciate Jill and her cosmetics. Oh. That's a fast turn. Jill, calm down. Breathe. Breathe. I know. Ugh. Yep, there it is. Ugh. Ugh. 
Totally fine, Jill. Totally fine. Leaving September 30th. Huh. That's a cacophony of pills. Jill? What the hell? Jill's report. September 26, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with umbrella thanks to the suspension investigations haven't progressed exactly as i'd hoped perhaps this written record of what i found will prove to my final duty pro prove to be my final duty as a stars officer i can only hope that it helps lead to the truth the t virus the first virus from from umbrella those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies it appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing them to mix of bodily fluids. Contact with crows, which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be f in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could be an extended incubation. I'd say sleeping fine isn't quite what I saw uh, next to your bed, Jill. Investigation notes. Umbrella. A pharmaceuticals company, industry leader in market share, focuses on military weapon development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility. Predi predicated the mansion incident. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership. Large donations to Mayor Warren's office. Effectively controls the city. Unsealed envelope. They got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their windows 24-7. Are they Irons men? Umbrellas? I don't know. There's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever it is they do to people like me you must pick up the investigation where i left off i've enclosed my files i'll tell you everything you need to know as long as this package isn't intercepted i'll be moving out at night five days wish me luck message from a colleague to jill valentine hey hot shot how you holding up i still can't believe iron suspended you That's such bullshit he had a pin of metal on you for making it out of that hell hole back in july of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. Figured you won't. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers, Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. I had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Thanks, Vickers. A spaghetti. Oh. A lot of beer. Raccoon milk. Bakery bread, some snacks. Minato's pizza.
September 28th, 807. Raccoon City. Closet door is open. All right, I'm coming. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Uh... Excuse me, sir? Sir, why do you have an engine on your chest? Time to run! Excuse me? Mm, put your tentacle away, sir. This is not that kind of party. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here with that grossness. I'm sorry. Hell, like hell. I do like this angle. Why are you yelling stars? Why, why is it just stars? Stop it. Jill, over here. Brad. Brad. You okay? What was that thing? Tim if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. How this all happened so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. True. I'm a running. I'm dreaming. How could this many people be infected? Brad! Here they come! In here! There's so many. Yep, it's a whole city. That sign does nothing, Brad.
Jill, run! He's been infected. Nothing you can do. I'm going to try to preserve my ammo. Oh, do I have to? Eh, I don't have to. Oh, get the hell out of here. Fun, buddy. Enjoy your death. I'm just going for it. Ooh! Fun, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, balls. Get off of me. Just squeeze in, Jill. Oh. I'm sorry? Oh. Ah. Sorry. He's dead. Why are you saying sorry? Yes. Start the car. Come on. Start, damn it. Stop. Start. I mean, I appreciate them giving me some commands, but holy crap, dude. Ooh, Jill. He's alive. That engine on his chest uh, is keeping him kicking. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Oh. He's got the big guns. Hey, easy lady, I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Carlos. I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. But he hasn't fallen all the way over dead. I don't think he's dead. I think we're in the clear. I hope so. 
We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. The, the, ooh, hey, snackies. Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? <laughs> no thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Well, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Yeah, Carlos. I'll come with you. It's this way. Dino bites. I'll take some dino bites. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? <laughs> she is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Hmm. She's snarky and spicy. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Let me make sure... Ammo crafting guide. Handgun is to gunpowder. Shotgun shells. So we get a shotgun is a high grade and a gunpowder. And then mag ammo is to high grade gunpowder. Uh, so on the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. You want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Once you're stocked up, get out there and join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. All the movie posters. So it's funny. This game is set. <laughs> Big E. Uh, this game is set in a city. I mean, Raccoon City is only a third of the size of my city. Um, which is crazy that my city is so small by comparison. Tabloid front page. The cannibal murders a complete digest. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of Lamb's Museum of Art. 
The responding officers discovered the mutated cor- the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of this kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? We here at News Comet have been have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settle settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated in Spencer Memorial to ask the tough questions and come back with horror stories that'll make your stomach ro- ro- royal. Turn the page for the scoop. I love this Jason Bourne looking cover right here. Okay. Well, up we go. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? No, I'm reading things. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clear in the tracks. You might get in the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Green herb. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. Do I not get a knife? I understand how to combine items. Let's combine. This is not my first rodeo. Okay, well, that'll something be something we deal with later. Nope, I don't want to do a save yet. I want to look at my... Okay, so I don't have anything fun and special unlocked. I have a knife I can equip, though. All right. Herb field manual. There's no place like UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo? Go someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds. So get these recipes memorized. Two green herbs for high potency. Maximum post potency is green and red or triple green. First aid spray. Can't make these yourself. Grab them if you see them. That should do it. Now get this done and go grab a beer. Let me make sure... All right, let's throw down our first save. I last played this on assisted. I apparently started playing it again at some point, but let's overwrite this old file here. All right, let's also make us some handgun bullets. All right. Moving. Okay, can't go in here. Top off the handgun here. All right, Terry and Paul. Terry, I said get down, sir. Well, there goes all 15 of those rounds that I had. Okay, I can't, I should probably still try to, boop, okay. We've registered that I can't go in there. That's locked. Okay. 
Okay. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's a substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Quit flirting. It's the apocalypse. <laughs> I love that zombie was on top and it just tipped. I really wish that zombie was stuck underneath and like clawing his way. Shit. He's going to get up and I don't want him to. We got a green herb and we got a fancy box. Ooh. I understand. Let's combine these. And then let's examine this guy. What's inside of you? Ooh, a gem. Ooh. Perfect. Let's uh, store that guy. Can't until we get a lock pick, we can't open that. And then let's combine these, combine these. I really wish I was preserving more. She's shoot. All right, now we're gonna. Go ahead and use that. Yep. That's locked. So I need to come this way. Let's come up in here. Okay. Well. You don't need your knee, right? Oh. Get 
off of me. Fire holes. I got me a fire holes, guys. Alright, what do we got? Subway employees memo. Violence is getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack, which is an odd thing to have in the subway station. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try to find some more shells. If anything goes south, cut the chain, bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. So we've got another locked. Ooh, hen grenade. Some gunpowder. And a... A thing we can't cut open yet. This must be the subway company's offices. Yeah, Jill. It is. Okay. So we'll come back. For that later. Ooh, donuts. Sorry, minor fat kid came out. <laughs> I got excited by donuts. Okay, so let's do that so I'm not making them on the run. Ow. Jerk. High grade gunpowder. Nine three seven. Ooh. Handgun ammo. Oh, there's an herb here. And we'll just combine these up here. Now that's a uh, super high. Uh, perfect. I feel like there's something back there, but I'm not going for it yet. Let's come up here. I know I've got my... Ooh. Come on, bust through. Let's see. Drugstore Owner's Journal, August 27th. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all the cash that's rolling in. September 2nd. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful aqua cure queen. She'll never give it up for a thief. Gun powder. Because we'll need shotgun shells eventually. So it was 937. Dot sight for the handgun. Perfect. 
Perfect. Okay, let's go this way. Hmm. Jim's crabs? Jim, I'm sorry to hear about your crabs. It's a sad, sad day. Oh, piss. Hmm. Let's just put this fire out real quick. Bolt cutters, huh? I like the sound of that. Let's store this for the moment and let's store that. Hmm. Let's use these bolt cutters. sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Oh, God. I love his voice. Like, oh. Neil. Mm, sorry, I had my moment. I'm good. Training log. July 10th, 202 pounds, 12 laps of the yard, two circuits. Suck it, prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job. I don't know how they're going to wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers, but whatever. I'll take it. Beats shitting away the rest of my life, or the rest of my day behind bars. I had to get back into shape. July 26, 196 pounds, 20 kilometer run, three circuits. Target practice at 400 yards, five misses. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a USBC training camp. Where I fired my first bullet in two years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. It doesn't matter. I'll get sharp again. Watch me. August 15th, 190 pounds. 30 kilometer run, three circuits. Target practice at 600 yards, two misses. Okay, I've got my shot grouping down to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The cap and the other guys are good people. Goddamn beasts of war at that. What the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? He used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. September 25th, 181 pounds, 30 kilometer run, four circuits. Target practice at 600 yards, no misses. Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I'll go on my first mission, riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change. The way I know best. Ah, oh, kid. Sorry to hear that, man. That's awful.
UBC is suicide note. September 28th. The Middle East. Eastern Europe. East Africa. Thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack. No matter what was thrown at me. But this job? This one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I had earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles. And yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only ever gets worse. But if that was just the beginning... Maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Nah, man. You stayed down. You stayed down. Electrician's note. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City Elec Electrician's Guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to, to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Rem Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone surrounding nearby could get electrocuted. Handwritten note. You, you got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Your neighborhood electrician, Sam. Okay. Using my dead by daylight looping skills. <sighs> Try to not get caught. Oh my god. Why am I missing every headshot? Thanks, game, for the red herb. I appreciate it. Ooh, a pouch. I like pouches. All right, let's 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 hit this note. Facts from substation chief. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we've implemented an intentional power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once this is done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to reactivate the power grid. All right. Well, let's stow that. I might need those herbs. Oh, wait, now I've got herbs here. All right. Green herbs, they work. I started to look like Chad was never going to come back from his rounds, so I poked my head in there and fuck me. Next thing I know, I've got some kind of maggot squirming down my throat. I was gagging and heaving, but those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. They just wouldn't come up. I was staggering around like a madman, and then I saw it. A green herb. My grandma told me once that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent, so I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob, and swallowed it. And what do you know? The little things didn't want to be up. <laughs> to, to be up in there anymore. I've never been so happy to throw up. I'm going to head back out there and look for Chad. If anyone sees this, remember, eat your greens. Let's... I'm going to save that one. Because I see this. I don't know what this is. 
and why I need it. Ugh. Let's examine. Box. A lockpick. All right. We need the lockpick, but I'm going to grab this other herb first. Because I'm going to need it. Bah. I'll take those. Okay. We've got two and a third clips. Substation and internal memo. The key to the high voltage area has been missing. And the earliest we were able to get back or get a replacement is next week. In the interim, a lockpick will be provided to the senior employee on duty. You only have one lockpick and cannot afford to lose it. So please keep it in its carrying case at all times when you're not using it. And please, would you all check once more that you don't accidentally take the key home? If you happen to find it. Please bring it to Kate and Admin. Well, Kate and Admin. I got the lock pick. Oh, gross. Uh. Ew. Get it out. There it is. Gross. Yeah, Jill, it is. Ew. No, go away. Ow! Ew! Ugh. Sorry, guys, if you're touchy to that. Perfect. A green herb for the party. No. Oh, you suck. Oh, you're still alive. Gross. Ugh. This is friggin' gnarly, dude. Okay, last one. Done. Time to get the hell out of here. 
Oh boy. Oh shit. I've got to remember how to get out of here. I think I can go this way. Yeah. Ugh. All that leaves is the main power switch. Oh, look at that. Uh gross. Enjoy that. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Might as well have it ready. Carlos, it's Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Not your partner. We'll use the lock pick. Oh, it's going to be a party outside. This area is all clear. Son of a bitch. Ow. Boop. Time to run. There's an electrical thing up here. Oh shit, dude. Oh shit, dude. Carlos, that thing is still alive. Run, Jill. Jill, quit talking and run. And that's why we mixed the herbs. Uh, let's see. Now I can open this. Might as well see what we can get out of it. A first aid spray. Let's go, dude. Okay, so this area is clear. Nope, oh, wrong way. This way. Okay, let's. Woo! You. Oh, God. Let's just hit some of these while we can. Let's pop in here for a hot second. Let's take a look at what we got going on. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a gunpowder there. So I need through into the subway control room. If 
I treat him like Mr. X. I gotta get through that door that he's in the way of. Shit. First aid spray. We're gonna get inside. Woo! Sir, put your tentacle down. And we're gonna grab. This shotgun. Use our lock pick. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a room. Okay, give me a sec. Let's use the lock pick. See what we get. Beautiful.